of this appalling program are still visible in our society. The old flag must accordingly be interpreted against its history and meaning in order to ascertain its objective meaning and thus to assess the effect of its display on the rise to dignity and equality. Where that flag is today and represents on the one hand to a section of the white minority and on the other to the majority comprising mostly black people. The first call for a recognition of a national flag was made by the Cape Conference of the Nationalist Party in 1919. J.B.M. Herzog, the head of National Party, became Prime Minister. The debate about a new flag would now be resurrected. The Minister of Interior, D.F. Malan, was responsible for the introduction of Afrikaans as the second national language replacing, replacing Dutch. Malan, however, pointed to the need for a new flag that would, quote, accept as the united choice that would be accepted as the united choice of all sections of the nation through their recognized political leaders close quotes this was with reference to only white people the flag was adopted in june 1927 and would enter into force in 1928 its purpose was twofold to serve as a distinctive marker for severing the ties with the imperial power, Britain. It was also a nationalist symbol of unity between, between English and African speakers. The Flag Act was passed alongside the Immorality Act of 1927, which outlawed, quote, illicit intercourse between Europeans and natives, those quotes. And the Native Administration Act of 1927, which made the Governor General, quote, the Supreme Chief of all natives, those quotes, and gave him vast powers to appoint and depose native chiefs, and generally to control how black people occupied and used land, moved, married, inherited, and settled disputes. It was control from cradle to grave. He controlled even where they could and could not bury their dead. These laws paved the way for the subsequent notorious Herzog Bills of 1938, 1936, the Native Representative Bill to further limit franchise, the Native Trust Land Bill to intensify the land ownership restrictions set by the Native Land Act of 1913 and the Urban Areas Amendment Bill to limit natives residing in urban areas only as laborers for whites. The bills in due course became law. Under these laws, urban areas were for whites and not for blacks. Black people could only lawfully enter and remain in the urban areas as laborers for white masters. Blacks were laborers and whites were masters. Literally, every white person had their own black persons as laborers, a situation 
not very much different from slavery. A stipend was paid by the white master to the black worker, regulated mostly by the will of the master. The Flag Act was part of a scheme of statues intended to entrench and in fact did entrench racialized segregation and white supremacy. The Baltic flag was a vivid symbol of white supremacy and black disenfranchisement and suppression. The Baltic flag combined four flags, the British Union Jack and the flags of the Transvaal and Orange Freistaat republics founded by the Boer settlers on the background of the Orange Blanche Blow Dutch Prince Flag. The flag gave expression to European heritage and heraldry, excluding black people entirely. The flag is unfortunately still divisive. It is against the backdrop of this history that its true and objective meaning or meaning must be assessed. The old flag represents nothing other than the inhumane system of racial segregation and subjugation that governs South Africa. It associates the old flag with autocracy, oppression, and denial of human rights, injustice, inequality, and hate. The old flag constitutes a symbol of racist and oppressive regime that governed South Africa prior to democracy and the dehumanizing ideologies espoused during that regime of racial superiority of white South Africans and inter alia, the corresponding inferiority of black South Africans. The old flag has been adopted and used by white supremacists around the world as a symbol of hatred, oppression, and racial superiority. The old flag, a particularly invidious image used during apartheid as the national symbol of a country that created, promoted, and brutally enforced a political system that, at its core, was aimed at discrimination and oppression. Afri Forum does not dispute any of this meaning. During apartheid, the old flag was held aloft as a symbol of past regime's power. It was seen as a constant reminder of an oppressive and racist system. Most South Africans recoil from the old flag and openly denounce apartheid as a crime against humanity. The true meaning or meanings of the old flag, that the gratuitous display of the old flag virtually communicates a message of the belief in or support of racism, white supremacy, and the subjugation of black populations according to the dominant meaning representative of apartheid, which has been declined a crime against humanity. The old flag is therefore discriminatory, and based on a minority perception, it is therefore inherently exclusionary of black majority population who are not recognized or acknowledged in the image. Apartheid was declared a crime against humanity by the United Nations in the Convention on the Suppression and Punishment of the Crime of Apartheid, General Assembly Resolution 3067, the 2002 Rome Statute. Condemnation against the policy of apartheid. Apartheid was condemned. The Rome Statute recognizes the crime of apartheid as particularly pernicious crime against humanity and describes the crime inhumane acts of a character committed in the context of an institutionalized regime of systematic oppression and domination by one racial group over 
any other racial group or groups and committed with the intention of maintaining that regime. The fact that despite the end of apartheid as a political system in South Africa, it lives on as a species of the crime against humanity. Apartheid, which is represented by the old flag, must in South Africa, as in the international arena, be acknowledged and classified as a crime against humanity. The flag is an internationally understood symbol of white supremacy, an image that was the international symbol of apartheid. The dominant meaning attributable to the old flag is that it is for the majority of South African population a symbol that immortalizes the period of a system of racial segregation, racial oppression through apartheid, mm -hmm. a crime against humanity, and of South Africa as an international pariah state that dehumanized the black population. A gratuitous display of the flag constitutes hate speech. Hate speech is speech expressing hatred, intolerance of other groups, especially on the basis of race, gender. Speech expressing hatred of a particular group of people. Speech and expression. It may even encourage violence towards the group or member of such group.